Welcome back to StoryFied. Today's video, we will look into the history of Judson, North Carolina, and other towns and communities that used to be active towns or communities in Swain County, North Carolina, but now are at the bottom of a lake. Now, according to a brochure for Bryson City from thegreatsmokies.com, Fontana Dam construction started in the 1940s. Swain County gave up the majority of its private land to the federal government for the creation of the Fontana Dam and Fontana Lake, which is a reservoir for the dam, and also the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. The reservoir required the purchase of 68,292 acres of land. 5,125 acres of which were forested and had to be cleared. 1,311 families, 1,047 graves, and over 60 miles of roads had to be relocated. The towns of Fontana, Bushnell, Forney, and Judson were completely inundated. The village of Welch Cove, later renamed Fontana Village, was originally built as a town for the workers and their families who came from all around the country to construct the Tennessee Valley Authority Fontana Dam. Construction of the dam began in 1942 and was completed in 1944. It was built during World War II to provide electric power for the war effort and to alleviate seasonal flooding in the Greater Tennessee River Valley. The town's name was derived from the Italian word for fountain. Fontana Village is now a summer resort and still retains some of the original buildings. After flooding these towns and most of North Carolina Highway 288, the government promised to build a road from Bryson City to Dills Gap, following the route of the river. This would provide access to the parts of Hazel Creek that remained above water such as the local cemeteries, but from the time it was promised all the way to the 70s, only seven miles of road was constructed. Environmental issues were the concern and reason that construction was stopped. About six miles into the park, you can walk a little further to get to where the road ends suddenly at a dark tunnel, and if you go through the tunnel, there is no road on the other side. The road was said to have originally been called Lakeview Drive, but the unofficial name ended up being The Road to Nowhere. There is a now iconic sign that reads, Welcome to the Road to Nowhere, a broken promise, 1943 to And that sign is said to still be there to this day. The road cuts through the Great Smoky Mountains National Park allowing the road to nowhere and tunnel to still be visited by tourists and hikers today. Now in February of 2010, the U.S. Department of Interior signed a settlement agreement to pay Swain County $52 million in lieu of building the road. And in 2018, the last payment of the settlement was finally made. Now the town of Judson was just one of the few names mentioned that was submerged under the lake. Black and white photos in the archives at Western Carolina University provide a snapshot of the life of Judson and a few snapshots are all that remain. Visitors to the area of Judson have reported having strange feelings and some were ready to leave as soon as they arrived. While many believe Judson has completely vanished, some say you can actually view the ghost town when the lake is extremely low. If you have permission, and supposedly, if the water is clear enough and you are taken out to where Judson once stood, supposedly you can still see the remnants of some of the town. Also, if you travel to the road to nowhere and walk the tunnel, on the other side, there's said to be beautiful trails and beautiful views, but no road. What remnants are left of the town of Proctor is said to be about a 10 mile hike from the tunnel, but be sure to follow the National Park Service trail maps for all trails and connections inside the park before beginning your journey. 
Proctor and the Hazel Creek area are only accessible by boat or a very long hike. It is one of the most remote areas of the National Park. While the Proctor Mine offices were flooded, much of the town and cemetery are above the waterline. You may see brick foundations and haunting remains, but there is only one home left and the remains of the lumber mill. The town of Proctor is mentioned in an episode of ASYTV's It Happened to Me, in which hiker John Vineyard recalls an ill-fated trek through the town that featured bear encounters, rattlesnakes, and paranormal activity. Farms, churches, homes, towns, and settlements, just to name a few, are all now gone, flooded out, and the remnants are below the water. Hundreds of people go out on Fontana Lake each year on boats, and many not knowing what might be below the surface. But now you do, and so do the locals. As mentioned, Bushnell and Forney, and possibly other small towns and communities, were also lost to the lake. I will leave a few links in the description below so you can check out the history, and also for hiking, and lastly a link to the info about the dam. Would you want to go see the area and the tunnel and the road to nowhere? Or hike some of the trails? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this type of content, please hit the like button. If you're brand new here, we would love for you to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we upload new content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.